I put a chip on my shoulder throughout my whole career and, and sometimes I still carry it with me today. So um, I'm still out there trying to trying to prove that I belong and trying to prove that, that I can be an NHL player and, and be an NHL regular. Uh, I think I first remember it by playing hockey, like in the basement with my brothers. Um, we were obviously so competitive and and uh, looking for something to compete in all the time. And, and hockey was kind of that that uh, thing that we looked at, uh, whether it was in the basement, in the garage, um, outdoor on a rink that that our dad made us. It was always something with hockey. He was always he was never one of the bigger guys. He was never huge, um, but you could always tell he just had like a, a different drive than everyone else in our association growing up. So you could see it even like when we were in, I'd say Pee Wee or Bantam. I think we were checking at Pee Wee at that age, if I remember right, he wanted to hit people. That wasn't gonna be a problem. He wasn't real big, but you could see that part of it was there for him. Actually, I do remember talking to him about some of the schools and some of the visits we, we went on with our family. I know he had a bunch of interests. You know, as he went and visited him, he, again, he's a little bit of an analytic. Um, so he studies the numbers and he looked to see how many right-handed defensemen every team had and what the recruiting classes were looking like. At the end of the day, uh, Duluth is where I wanted to go. And, and I grew up cheering for the Bulldogs, uh, going to Bulldog games uh, when I was growing up. So um, it, it was a dream come true to play for my hometown team. That was, talk about a mixed bag of emotions, you know, they lose the national championship game and I turn around and there's literally a line of scouts standing there. And I was like, wait, <laughs> like not yet. <laughs> Sophomore year of college was having a really good year um, and the interest was starting to pick up, the, the intensity level of those meetings started to pick up. So um, I knew it was within reach then. We visited three, um, the LA Kings, the New York Rangers and the Minnesota Wild. And I think it just came down to the Rangers had the most need. They were really short of right-handed defensemen at that time. And they pretty much told him, you're going to play for us pretty soon. And, and that really kind of sealed the deal. Nelson is on. Beyond spinning on Nelson. Moves to the net. And he scores! Rangers win it in overtime. The Jets have traded defense from Jacob Truba to the Rangers in exchange for Neil Pionk and the 20th overall pick in the upcoming draft. It gets a good defenseman and Neil Pionk into the lineup that can play and contribute. You know, when we came to the Rangers, you know, that was the player that they said that if we can acquire this guy, you know, in a trade, you know, we think that there's untapped potential in there and, you know, that he's a player that, um, you know, could be, you know, someone that, uh, you know, could pop, so to speak. Yeah, it was funny when I got traded, uh, a couple of my friends texted me like, oh, it's so cold there, and or, or my teammates in New York would say that, and I would just laugh because I grew up in the same climate, so um, it's been fantastic here, though. I mean, the, the weather is what it is, but it's a hockey town, plain and simple, and uh, that's what you're looking for as a player. And Neil's not a, he's not a lot of frills, you know, he just wants to get down to business. And one of the first things he told me about the Winnipeg Jets is they were very businesslike. It was practice, and when's the next game, and we got work to do here, and he likes that, that fits him. It's been a part of who he is. Did I think when he was five, this is where we were gonna land? And do I still have pinch me moments? And, you know, yes, 100%, I still have pinch me moments. Like, what is happening? Like, um, I'm still out there trying to, trying to prove that I belong and trying to prove that, that I can be an NHL player and, and be an NHL regular. Mm -hmm.